Hey, what is going on everyone? Legendary Crafter here. <coughs> and welcome back to a uh, new game. Well, it's kind of new, kind of not. I used to upload this when I delete all the videos. This is basically <coughs> Ark Survival Hole. It's um, basically a survival game, as you can see. Well, kind of. You make your own character right here. I've got all mine customized and stuff like that. Nothing really that important. You spawn in the world and you basically just gotta survive. It's like a dinosaur survival game, so there's there's like a lot of dinosaurs, like primal creatures from like ages, like millions, and millions of years ago, basically. And yeah, let's just jump straight into this. So hit create new survivor here. I do know quite a bit about this game. I've been playing it a lot as of recently. So don't expect me to be some big noob, although I can be at times. It's one of those games that. You start doing well. One second, let me just. I think my sounds off right now. Not a very good, uh, not a very good start. But yeah, it's one of those games where you just gotta survive, and you start doing so well and surviving, and then all of a sudden something bad just happens, and you get set back. But let's turn our music up a bit here. There we go. We got some music. So as you can see, we're basically spawned on an island here there's not really much showing right now but we spawned on an island and we have to try and find a way to survive it's like a mysterious old world it's got these three towers there's one of them there and there's two more on them oh gosh no no <laughs> okay that ended quicker than i expected let's um yeah let's try that again <laughs> let's try maybe use some one this time just got wrecked by a baryonyx. Um, yeah. So, let's try this. Oh, gosh. I'm in a swamp right now, I believe. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. <laughs> from what I know, swamps are like the most dangerous place to be. You don't really want to be here. Although, I think... Oh, no, there's things... There's, as you can see, there's, like, dinosaurs. Things everywhere. I got a very bad spawn. Considering everything wants to kill me. Almost the kill me right here. There's giant snakes at the Lophosaur. You might notice that from Jurassic Park if you've ever seen that. But yeah. Alright. You can hit E, uh, got, you can harvest stuff with your hands. You gotta, you have to punch trees. Kind of like Minecraft, you know. <laughs> right. I have my rates turned up a little bit. So basically, when I hit stuff, I get a little bit more than you would usually get. And same when I harvest things. Just so uh, it doesn't take ages and ages to harvest like some resources and that snake wants me. Crap, I should probably go. So the safest place to be is on the beaches. We're on a huge island. Like we've explored this area, but we've got all of that to go through yet. There's also things like caves in this game, which have like, they have artifacts at the end as rewards, which you then need to spawn bosses. So this game's pretty complete for the most part. And like, this isn't, the only map there's like several maps as well this is only one map here there's also a desert map there is there are the two official maps the this island map and the desert map there's also two unofficial maps uh one called ragnarok and one called the center from a uh, mod program which isn't really that interesting right now but yeah let's get into this um i have oh yeah you can also i don't know how i miss this out you're able to tame the dinosaurs so you can fly around on like Pterodactyls, I guess, um, ride T-Rexes, and I could probably tame this guy if I wanted right now, but I'm not going. Also, as you go along the way, if I go into my inventory here, we've got our character, we can, up as we go, we level up, and we can apply him into all of these different stats right here. I'm just going to pump one into weight so I can carry more, because you can only carry as much as your weight is. We got crafting. As you level up, you gain things called engrams, which you use to learn new items, which you can then craft and use to help you in the world of Ark, I guess. That's pretty much a basic summary of what this game is. Pretty fun survival game, actually. And hopefully this will be a long-lasting series. But, uh, yeah, let's get straight into this here. Um, so, I already know a fair bit about the game. As I said before, I'm no pro, <laughs> believe me, I'm not a pro whatsoever but i do know one thing and that is that we need a pickaxe so we're going to need some stone and i believe we can pick up 
yep we can pick up these stones and we can pick up boom 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 okay yeah we've got like four stones down let's make this pickaxe then so thatch wood and stone so thatch and wood is from trees and then you get things like fiber and berries from bushes all of which are very useful materials materials so yep yeah, that's why i was saying something wrong <laughs> i'm a bit of an idiot but yeah wow there's a lot of things around here got like a oh there's something dead over there go and check that out it's like giant turtles triceratops I think, hey, this is a dead raptor. Nice. We can harvest this guy for hide and meat. That's going to be six. We just got a free kill. <laughs> nice. Wow, something's nearly dead over there. What the hell? Yeah, the bloody things are, the more likely they are to be nearly dead. Normally, you find them full health unless they've been attacked. You know, that's pretty obvious in itself. I'm not going to attack this guy because he will actually fight back and I'll probably end in me dead. So I'm just going to stick to... He's thing here and hello. You are a Tapshara. And he just got scared of me. Okay. Well I guess we're not going anywhere near him. Alright. Let's see. So to obtain things in this game you basically gotta knock them out and then feed them their preferred food. So obviously here before it's berries, carnival, meat, sort of thing like that. And then once you have them you can equip saddles on them. Some of them don't take saddles, some of them you can't ride. And then they use for things like resource harvesting, fighting, stuff like that, traveling around, you know, just to make your life easier. <coughs> and the aim of the game is to basically uh, just beat <laughs> beat the game, but it's, it's to uh, to oh, oh there's a raptor there. I don't want to go near that. Send from this, and I'm dead. <laughs> Shoot, that's a, that is a Kano on my tail. Rip, 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 <laughs> crap. Get into a spot where it can't. No, this is rude. Kind of. Yeah. Bit of a harsh start, but yeah, the, the game in the game is to ascend and beat all the caves and beat all the bosses, and boom, you're done, I guess. Right. Let's try and get our body back here. The beginning of this is always the hardest part. Like you're gonna die several times, or at least I do. Oh no, the swamp again. How far down did we get reset? Now we're far back, okay. There's lots of things around here, and I know some will and won't attack me. And that is a Brontosaurus, I believe. And there's that snake that wanted me earlier, and now it wants me again. Right, we've got a level, let's just chuck on it to help. Right, let's go. Frick, <laughs> nearly got me. I believe they'll knock me out, and then just be able to kill me from there if they touch me once. So, let's go get our stuff back right here. Um, I thought I was pretty much, yeah, yeah, there's our death beacon right there, I think green light. Hello, Carbo Nemesis, level 56. Might tame one of those guys at some point, but we're nowhere near being able to tame anything at the moment. A dodo at most, right? Let's see. Okay, we gotta try and not get killed by that Kano. Or we could just, like, ignore our dead body and just start building up again. Considering... <coughs> All we had really was a pickaxe and some resources which we can easily get. You know what? I think we might just be good setting up a little base here. Looks nice enough. It's not that bad. Also, apologies if the game doesn't look great. Uh, this game causes a hell of a lot of lag on my computer. So I have to have about medium graphics. It's not the worst graphics you can get, but you can definitely get much better. Which kind of sucks, but... You know, it looks good enough for me, so hopefully it looks good enough for you. Alright. Let's get some more trees. You know, we should probably just make a pickaxe. And destroy the trees with that. Also, we can get a torch for flint. And you can only get flint with, like, pickaxe. With a pickaxe, actually. Or well, not with just a pickaxe. Without, you can't get flint with your hands because you can't punch her off. You know, alright. Now I'm getting a lot of flash. My rates are... If you actually know any of this stuff, I'd imagine someone, people watching this are pretty new ish cock, and all they know, I don't know. But my rates are the default rates are 1 times harvest rate. I've bumped mine up to 2.5. Um, just to just speed things along a bit quicker, because I don't want to be spending ages and ages grinding resources. Alright. Let's see. Let's just get all of. All of our 
materials, I guess. I don't really know what to call them at the moment. And there's... What's he fighting? Do I, oh. A snake. Hey, maybe we can get the cleanup kill. No, we should probably learn something. So, we can learn these things for engrams. We only have the same amount. We get more every time we level up. And from here, we can go into our crafting and make them. You just gotta kind of be wise on what you spend your engrams on. Like, you don't spend your engrams on, like, chairs and tables and not have enough for, like, pickaxes and axes. I don't know. Well, hatchets, not axes. Alright, let's make a torch and a hatchet here. There we go. Also, if you're wondering what these are, these are just skins you get. Um, from, like, I bought, like, a season pass for this game. So it gives me a couple skins. Plus, when you just join, when you get into a game, it just gives you some free skins anyway. Wow, who's going to win this? It's like an ultimate battle right now. Hey, turtle one. Alright, let's take this then. Do they have an inventory? Nope. Sometimes when you kill stuff, they can have inventories which have like some loot in it. Alright, maybe this rate, these rates are a bit high. Because that is 108 high just from one snake. Alright, let's put a level into melee damage so we can actually fight. And as you level up, you learn more stuff. So, I'm at level 4, so I'm able to learn this. Level 5, level 6, and it goes all the way up to level 100 and you got things like turrets and stuff like that darts more you've got saddles to ride things you know got, i'm pretty sure it's a rocket launcher right there so you get pretty advanced in the game you get guns and stuff like that so it's not all just primitive boring stuff you know all right but for now this is what we have to start out with and we will slowly progress and i am dehydrated so i need to get to the water here you have effects you you can see in the uh Bottom right hand corner, we got health, our stamina, our food, our water, and our weight. And yeah, I don't know what the arrow is though. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, I think that might be how close you are to leveling up, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, there we go. Got our water back up. So, we probably want to learn some more stuff, don't we? Let's make a spear and a campfire really quick. And, okay, we can make a spear. Campfire is going to be more stone and more wood. The pickaxes used to get flint, and thankfully the stone, the hatchet is used to get stone. So it's gonna take, I'm just gonna get like 20 stone. Hopefully that'll be enough. There we go. And we definitely wood, so let's just break this. There we go. And there we go, there is a campfire. We're only gonna just do like a shortish episode, get some basic stuff, and then we'll, that'll probably be it for the first episode, you know. Just getting started. Okay, so I think yeah, let's just place this campfire down here. I think we want to make a little base here. There's different building tiers uh, for base building. I think you got thatch, which I can show to you right now. This is the first tier of building. Then it progresses to wood, and then it progresses to stone and metal, and then the final tier of building, which is tech. Which is like a futuristic type thing you get from defeating bosses, which I'm no nowhere near getting right now. So that's going to be <coughs> a very, very long while away. But for now, let's just get started by placing this campfire down and chucking our meat in there. So this thing's got three slots, so we'll put 20 20. And let's split this in half and put 13 in there and light the fire. That should now cook our meat for us, which is going to be really nice. So now we will be able to have some nice food to eat when we get hungry. We can also live off berries as well. It's not just meat. Just think it, but meat's better than berries. I don't know why. I guess it just is, right? Um, so let's get started here. Let's uh, try and make some foundations for thatch. So to start building with thatch, you need, or to start building with anything, you need these things called foundations. Which is basically, you know, the foundation of your build. You can't build anything on top of, of the ground unless you've got a foundation to build it on. So, we've got some more engrams here. Let's also learn the wall and the ceiling. As well as, like, cloth pants for now. Yeah, that's good. So, we can actually make a lot of this. Now, let's make the pants for extra, pro extra protection. And we can make four of these. Yeah, sure. Why not make four? Right, we also got another level from that, which is sick. Let's put one more into health, since that Kano's like over there. I hope he doesn't come for us, otherwise we're screwed. Right, 
So building, you basically click the number on your keyboard that the structure's on, and you get this like highlight of the build, kind of like you saw with the campfire, or exactly like you saw with the campfire. And it kind of shows you where it's going to go before you place it. And then just the place, you just double click, and it places. I'm not really going for any intricate builds here, because you can make a lot of good stuff with the building in this game. But like, I'm just going to go for like a small wooden house, I guess. We'll probably go a lot let's not further beyond that as time progresses but like this is all we're gonna really go for at the minute so let's just chop down this tree there we go and there we go that should be good so now we're gonna need yeah four walls we need a bit more than four well let's just try and get a basic house done and i think that'll be it for this episode uh nothing amazing but like as you can see we are getting started also, I might decrease the harvest rate to like just 2 instead of 2.5 because this is giving us a lot and it's getting us a bit further of a head start than I would have liked. So, I'm going to decrease the harvest rate from 2.5 just to 2. So, as you can see with the walls, they kind of place on the edge right here. So, and obviously you get the same highlighted sort of blueprint effect. So, let's place that down. As you can see, they also snap to each other as well. Because if you try and place it on the ground here, it says can't place slash wall, no snap point, and you can only get snap points from different from like foundations. So this will not snap to this, and if it's red, you can't place it. If it's green, you so you can. So that's, that's pretty obvious right there. All right, so let's finish off this house. We're gonna need one, two, three more walls, and I believe yeah, we can also get a doorway. Yep, door frame, door frame, and a door. So let's go ahead and get this. Uh, we need some fiber, right? Let's get some fiber right here. And uh, is that enough? Yeah, that should be enough. Um, one, two, three for the walls, and also not everything you can craft in just your crafting. Some certain workbenches you need to craft some stuff and other stuff like that. It's pretty intricate, but like, there's nothing hard. You can easily get used to it, right? And the door frame and the door. And then other than that, we just need some ceilings, and we'll be good with our basic box build. And the door's going to go right here, or right there. No, here's good. All right. So, let's get this, let's get that, and you have to place the door frame first, otherwise, you know, the door will place. So, boom, let's put that down, and boom, there we go. And now we have a house, except we need a roof. So, we're going to need four ceilings. Each ceiling is the size of a foundation, so it's not too hard to, you know, know how many you need. Alright. So we need some more fiber for this. So let's go get uh, some more fiber from these bushes. And there we go. Right, so we need one, two, three, and four. And yeah, that's good. So I'll just go through this craft up. So ceilings, you know, they're pretty sanded. They look a lot like a ceiling would. You know, <laughs> right. And we just got another level, actually. Um, I think we'll expand on our house. Probably next episode. And let's get our food out of the campfire. Uh, yeah, there we go. 14 cooked meat. Looking nice. Right. And let's put this last one down right in the air. There, that's good. Yep. So now, we should be good on our house. And as you can see... Wait, let me just... Uh, uh, we have a little home symbol on like the right hand corner, or well, right hand, not the right hand corner, just on the right hand, of the on the right side of the screen, and that just shows when we're in our house we get a little buff, so like <laughs> we're a bit more resistant to the cold and the heat and stuff like that, as you normally would be. But yeah, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. <coughs> um, shortish, kind of longish episode, nothing like amazing, amazing. Got a basic start here, got some basic tools, you know, not that bad. And I just realized we never even used our spear. Or we never put our legs on. Alright, let's also up our movement speed. You know what, before we end it off, I'm going to try and kill this um, Dilo. Dilo. Oh, okay, well he already wants to kill me. Ooh, he got spit. He, he got, he's he got spit, right. Here we go. We've got to kill this guy before we end off the episode. Look. Here we go. So close to today, he's only a level 16. Oh, he's mate boosted. Shoot, there's more nearby. I've been hit. No, no. <laughs> Shoot. 
Don't end this off badly. Oh, shoot. That guy's a level 76. Right, let's just get this one guy killed. Um, I can't really see how much I have because the steam thing's popping up in the... Oh, pro avoiding. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to kill this level 76. Spears, I was going to say. Yep, they have infinite durability until they break. They have a chance of breaking... Spearcraft, spearcraft. Thank you. Oh, you missed a few. Right. Let's get the 76 down then. They have a chance of breaking whenever you hit them. They can last for a long time though, depending on how lucky you are, I guess. It's right. You can also... You can also throw spears, which I'm not going to demonstrate right now until this guy's bloody, because then I'll have no weapon, because you're not able to get them back unless you kill the thing. Where is he? There he is. Right. Oh. There we go. you got to kind of jump up and go to the side. Right, here we go. Oh. There we go. You can throw the spear and you can get it back once you kill it. So yeah. we got two Dilos or Delphosaurs dead right there. Where's the other guy's body? Ah, uh, there it is. Perfect. Right. Well, everyone, I think that's going to be the end of today's episode. We have a bit of a pretty basic setup here, and our campfire went out. We have a pretty basic setup. Nothing, like, too great, and yeah. Hope you all enjoyed, and I guess I'll catch everyone back for the next episode of Axel Evolves. Goodbye.